Hello guys and welcome to my new video. It's my first video in this channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a game. Uh, basically, uh, it's a ping pong game. You know, two players play as whether it's an AI or a human. Uh, so how the game will look and how it look? Uh, I will show you the game that I made. Just you know, this I made the game just now, and there's a whole source code of it. I'm just going to save it up here. Okay. So I will show you how the game looks. It is the game. Just two panels, one ball that bounces this region off. If it's go, I'll just respawn and yeah. This is basically the whole game, okay, right? You should have an idea now that how the game looks and how it will look after I made it, right? So first we'll create a project. So how to make a project you should know. Uh, I'm using Eclipse for it. Making my project that's ping pong. So I just made a project named as ping pong. Then I created two classes, one min.java and game java. So game, these are two classes, main and game. Main game is actually the, uh, you know, that will call the other class and all the functions inside the public static void main line will run. So I have created an J frame and object F, that is a frame. I have added the properties of it. So what your first property is set size. Set size is actually the width and uh, width and height. So the width of an width is actually this. Height is actually this, right? You should have an idea of it. Visible to I said resizable that I can't resize it. This is resizable, right? I can't resize it. It default close operation and I have set the title as ping pong, right? So I have created. Uh, let's go to min other class that is a min class on which all the other functions are there. So first I have imported you know the package. This is the default package, and I have imported all the classes. Now these are the classes which are very much uh, composite. You should have. You should have installed your Windows Builder for doing this all. Okay. Uh, I just import all the classes. Then I just go and extend to a J panel. What is a J panel? J panel is actually like a J frame, but it will have the content inside, right? So uh, I implement the key listener and the action listener. You should know what a key listener, uh, key listener, action listener. If you know event handlers about that, right? So I've created some variables, y and y1. Y is is for the first paddle. That is that is this paddle. Which is moving the green one, and y2, y y1 is equal uh, is for this paddle, the red one. I've created the velocity. Velocity means in which speed it will be moving, right? So I will just go and you know it's moving. N which speed should move? It's that. Uh, that's two, right? And I've created the ball position x. So we need four variables to for a ball. That what will the position in the ball will spawn and what direction should it go? Right, so we have created this, created this, and ball x position for 260, and ball position y 165. If I just show you, where it's go cool. okay. Right. So ball will spawn just right here. See, ball will spawn right here only. This actually is spawning location, and this is x, and this is y. So first we go and make a rectangle. This paddle I've declared as a rectangle. That paddle be a rectangle shape and that's a timer. Timer is actually to delay, you know, to animate things you need timer. And timer I have used Java dot Java X dot swing package for timer. If you use util it will not run. Because it doesn't take any arguments. I've written constructor class constructor. You know that class constructor uh, does not have any return time. Sorry, it uh, let's skip it through. So I just had team dot start. I have added a key listener. This this means this this class. This whole one will have the key listener set focusable to transfer it. Now, what are transversible keys? We don't want to use the shift tabs and all, that's why I have kept it false, right? So, we'll go in a paint component. Paint component is actually the graphic components which we'll use to, you know, to show them that yes, uh, if you want to show the rectangle, I will just cut it off. I'll just show you later on that why I did this, okay? Okay, I will just go and create it. Okay, done. If I just save it and run it, just two rectangles. First one being green. So how I did I did it? I will just cut it off. So G dot color. Color. Okay. Color dot I will set it as green. And I was going to G dot 
field rect what is the uh, rectangular position uh, I will just check it from here what is the rectangular position of this 8 so actually this one is of the right one this one left one right so I will just copy right this okay right I will just copy like this copy and I will just go and paste it right here so I will just go and paste it right here we created one and it's created g dot set color color dot I will set it red let's go and okay wait g dot fill rec rectangle with this coordinate I will say done and I just go and copy it up right there Hmm. So I just created it right. I will just save it and run it and it will look less the same, right? You can see this moving one. So first uh, I will show this method later on. I will explain it later after I created balls and all. So we will just head right here to the action perform uh, one event handler and we will just save it right here. You can see I have added this one that it is the main animation part without this three the most main is repaint if you don't have the repaint it will not move so I just uh, y is equal to plus velocity y and y will be equal to plus velocity y1 so it will you know keep adding the pixels and yes once it's added it will repaint means it will just call this this method again and it will repaint so if I just cut out the reprint from here and I just paste it it will not do anything it will just like stationary right and if I just rep, uh, okay, wait. Uh, repaint, okay, and then I will just save it, and it will just uh, start animating right and moving. Now it's not stationary. So first, uh, we to we need to make sure that the bar doesn't run off the border side; it can go out of it, and not be seen in the window. So what if this if statement if statement that if y is lesser than equals to 0 or y is greater than 290 290 is the you know the uh, width I will say sorry height it will if the y uh, is or y is greater than 290 it will just minus means it will just go like back if I just remove it you can see what a difference it will make it will just keep going on right like see it's going on it goes on now it will not appear back in the window because it is just keeping on going down go down and down and down and down if I just uh, statement and if I just save it now it will bounce back see it's not anything right done so I hope you understand what I am doing here okay so then we create a ball so how will the ball work first we have to create the uh, okay the ball is right here now ball is not right here so what we'll get from first we will create a ball okay so where is the ball okay we will just go and create a g dot set color color dot yellow and this yellow is the best color I like right it gives an another look to the game right set color oh sorry what I'm doing We'll fill it like oval, right? Mm, yes, I will go and copy this up. Okay, we have it right here. Why it is giving this error? Wait a minute. What is giving this error, man? Uh, wait, 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 let me see. What is this error? I mean, this should not give an error. What that's giving? Wait, let me go right there. Okay. Twenty. I 
know what the error was about mm, not an issue if you just save it now the ball will appear like this right it's bouncing so uh, we press insert and uh, it looks like I have to create one more okay so it's done now I will just create a ball now I want to make that ball uh, you know bounce back when it touches the paddles so what I've created is a new rectangle at the ball one and I just intersect new rectangle at first paddle which is 8y1060 this 8y1060 and the second one it will just reflect the x direction Deco. it will uh, you know bounce back at the x axis if you have an idea good idea about x and y axis you will know what I'm saying right and same I've done here for the second angle and yeah it's done so when I after this when I just when I will just do this okay when I just do it, it will reflect back right and same goes for here right it is reflecting back it's bouncing back when you hit it that right I think it's done okay so now what we'll do is I have to create that as for paddle you have seen that the paddle goes right I have set in condition that it shouldn't go past that border side so same I have to create for this one and this one so what I have done is for up ball position is lesser than 0 then ball y axis direction is equal to minus ball y axis direction for left it will call the reset method that reset method is up here reset method is basically it will position the ball at the place of its spawning right so it will just look like this it's going it will spawn from here spawn from here again spawn from here like that it will go right it will call this method same I did for down and voila okay so now I have to add key listeners right key events what if uh, I just took an C variable declared as int e dot key code just copy this code okay first of all if c dot key event v up that up one arrow one vl uh, velocity one y one is equal to minus one again i'm saying if i have a good idea about x and y axis you will know what i'm saying just look on through it you will get an idea what i'm doing i have done it right and after the key pressed y is y plus equal to well minus one okay when i just press it it will just stop see it stopped right here that is key released event due to key, key released event and i just don't need this one why i copy this one so yeah that is basically the whole code for the ping pong game i hope you understand it all you can just copy it from here and yeah that's basically the whole game I hope you enjoyed my tutorial thank you for tuning in please make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to comment I will just uh, I will post I will soon post about all you know I will add the scoring system in it and I will post it for it also very soon I hope you liked it thank you for tuning in guys